I am Chris Gardner of the Houston Round Ball Review. And with me, the young man in the middle is uh, the newest Houston Cougar, Mr. Isaiah Harwell. Mm. The older gentleman on his right, but probably younger than me, is his dad, Mr. Ron Harwell. How are both of y'all doing? Good. Doing great. Doing great. All right, Isaiah, if you don't mind, I just have a question for your dad because I, the main discussion is me and you. But, Ron, from a dad perspective, explain to me your thoughts on Kelvin Sampson. You know, how much you know about Kelvin ahead, you know, ahead of this whole process. And you know, what do you like about him or, or had questions, concerns before the commitment? Um, so, Coach Sampson reminds me of uh, my former coach in college, you know, uh, Herb Williams. Also, of uh, a little bit of uh, Coach Gruskin and Gracie, uh, they were they were pretty hard on you, but they you know they 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 pushed you to be the best, uh, so you couldn't get anything past. Them, right, um, I think I feel that he's very honest. Okay, uh, he demands a lot out of you, which is good. He's very honest, which is good. Uh, you can tell that he puts a lot of work into his craft because of the programs he's turned around. Uh, you know, um, I, I, the, the, the night before Isaiah was to make the, the decision, I could tell you I was still undecided, right? Okay. But it wasn't my call anyway. It was my mm -hmm. son's call, right? But as a father, you know, you, you're always concerned whether the program is going to treat your child um, decently, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not expecting the program to treat my child the way I treat my son, right? I don't think that's possible uh, just because of the love we have for our children, right? Uh, but I, I do expect honesty, right? All you have to do is just be honest. It's a business. Uh, and Coach Sampson came across that way. You know, we, we had a, I would say, maybe a five-minute talk, right? Because at that point, I, again, I was still up in the air. And he said some things to me that really hit hard, hit, you know, hit home. Uh, it came from his heart. I could tell it, it, it came from his heart just because of the, uh, the tone, uh, sincerity. I could, I could feel in his voice and whatnot. Uh, I admire Coach Sampson, uh, the journey that he took just to be there, to be the head coach, the programs he went through, the, the uh, adversity he's faced along the way. Uh, and there were some of the things that we talked about, right? So he, he, he kind of, we, 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 we were speaking to each other as fathers, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Parents. Mm -hmm. And so that what sold me, right? <laughs> uh, I could relate to that, right? And so with that, I, you know, um, I was able to, to understand what, where he was coming from as far as the, um, uh, demands that he's going to have on my son. I say, hey, no, 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 no shortcuts here. We, we want the demands. And my son's a hardworking uh, individual, right? Uh, he's, he has a good heart. He's a God-sent heart. Uh, he's put a lot of into his craft and playing ball. Uh, he's always given 100%, right? And that's what coach wants is 100%. So, hey, it was, it, by all means, it, it was uh, a match made in heaven, you know, Excellent. so yeah. without knowing heaven. <laughs> right. Understood. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I don't get that point. But yeah, uh, it, it was it was a good talk. It was a good it was a very good talk. You know, I, I felt that, again, he was being as honest as as possible, you know, and he was being sincere as, as possible, as, as much as possible. And I told him, and he, I'm a man of faith. I, my family is, you know, we, we study the Bible. We're into it. We, we know that all things come from the Lord. Um, and we give all honor and praise to God. So with that, with, with that and our basis, he just came down to us. Or, well, rather, he came up, right, with respect to uh, just our understanding of you know, our belief in God and stuff. And. And, and again, that was a touching conversation that we had. And I, and I really appreciate that he did that. Well, I appreciate you taking time to uh, answer that question. Cause I'm always curious of, 
I've had an opportunity to talk to a few young men who committed to colleges and stuff. I never talked to their dad or their mom. So this is, this is the first for me. Yeah. And I want to thank you for arranging it. Yes, sir. And so, and I look forward to meeting you when you guys get down here to Houston and cause I've covered the Cougs for a long time and hope to continue doing it. So thank right. you for taking time to, yes, uh, to talk to me. Now, Isaiah, okay. get ready, man. It's me and you. All right. Thank you. All right. yes, thank you very much. Take care. Isaiah, what are your thoughts on what your dad said? Well, first, let me ask you this. Did you know that it was the, your choice of Houston? He was like not sure up until like the final moments of your decision. Did you know that? Um, I didn't know his thoughts exactly, but he, he told me it was going to be my decision overall. So, you know, I just kind of just prayed on it a lot and came down to it. So when did you when did you know? That you're gonna that you going to pick Houston. I had a really strong feeling after the Houston visit, and then after I took my last visit, and then I talked about it with my brothers and everything, and then and that's when I knew. Okay, I have not seen you play, so for me and for everybody who's going to watch this, describe your game, and, and there, is there one particular player that you pattern your game after? Um. I describe my game as a two-way player, and I can score from all three levels. I don't really think I, I don't really think I put it after a certain player more so than I just take a lot from different other players. And okay, well, how many players, or who are those players that you take things from? Uh, quite a bit. Um, I like to take things from Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, um, Shea Gilgis Alexander. And just a lot of like people that kind of like symbolize me. Who were your your final? What was it final four? How many choices mm -hmm. did you come down to? It was it four schools? Four, yes, sir. And so, who were the other three choices? It was Cal, Gonzaga, and Texas. But you chose Houston. So yes, why sir. Houston? Was it how how did it come about? Because where are you from? I'm from Idaho. Idaho is a long way from Houston, Texas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure it is. So how did you first hear about the Houston Cougars? Um, just growing up, they was always in the tournament watching them. So, you know, there's always like a really good prestigious school. So once I like I was playing, I remember I was playing, I believe it was eighth going into ninth grade that uh, they started watching me. And so like ever since then, you know, I just studied more and more about them. And what is it? Is it something particular you like about the staff, Coach Sampson? Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, KC is from Idaho, so That's we right. had a yep. little connection. And then Coach Sampson, he was, he's a great guy. I mean, he always says the right things, and he knows how to get the best out of people. So. And are you, are you used to being Coach Tough? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I had my dad growing up as a coach, so, you know. Do you see similarities between your dad and Coach Sampson? For sure, for sure. I definitely do. I definitely do. How how you feeling? Because you're coming off an injury. How you feeling? Yes, sir. I'm feeling good uh, coming back. It's a process, so, you know, I'm still praying, getting through it, but I'm feeling good. And uh, you and describe your injury. Uh, I told my ACL. Which, which, uh, which knee? Uh, my left knee. How long ago was the injury? I did it the first week of January. Oh, so this year? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So you still, I mean, I mean, surgeries and technology is way better than, you know, ACL recovery years ago. So you're on track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yes, read sir. you were just recently in the uh, Wooten 100, 150. How did that go? Describe that experience. Um, it was good. Uh, I met a lot of players that, you know, I played with before. And so it was great seeing them again, going up against them and, you know, getting a feel for how much better they gotten and versus how much better I've still gotten. And so it was great to, you know, measure myself. You got you got some some positive feedback. I read that from I think uh ESPN's guy, was it Paul Ben Cardi? Ben Cardi? I think he was there, wrote about it. Yes, sir. So I, I assume your ultimate goal is to get to the NBA? Yes, sir. How how soon is that goal in your mind? One year at Houston, two? What's the plan? Uh, it's not really up to me, you know, it's on God's timing. So it's just a matter of, you know, what I can do while I'm at Houston and 
hopefully I can win a national championship while I'm there. How many times have you, have you been to Houston? Uh, two, two times, uh, unofficial and then my official. And what was your impression? Well, when was it? The first like unofficial, was it hot and humid or was it cold? No, nah, it was it was hot. Yeah, it was hot. It was real hot. Yeah, we don't really have seasons here in Houston. You know, we have <laughs> winter for like a week and then summer and not summer. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> it. Yes, sir. On your official visit, who was your, I guess, what is it? Uh, what did you have like a big brother? To take you around and show you things on campus? How'd that work? Oh, uh, I had Chase McCarty and Mercy Miller with me. Okay, so, all right. So, some so of the I know other... both those guys. Yeah. Yeah. And how long have you known them? Uh, for a little minute. I played against Chase, and then I always knew Mercy, you know, uh, through basketball and stuff. So, I seen them before we were in Vegas for Border League, and so I was with them there and then played against Chase when he was at IMG. And and where are you uh, going to school, academy, right now? Wasatch Academy. And and why there? Um, it was just like, it was a better place to, you know, get better and grow up uh, mentally-wise and basketball-wise from here, from Idaho, down there to Utah. How how tall are you and how much do you weigh right now? Uh, right now I'm 6'6", six, six and I weigh around 210. Have you... Have you had a, a growth spurt, like, from 8th to ninth grade, something like that? I think so. I think I stopped growing around junior year. See, nah, senior year. So, right now, I think I'm just trying to still get a little couple more. So, hopefully that happens. Did you, did you uh, when you made your visit to Houston, did you meet with um, the strength coach? What is it now? The performance coach, Alan Bishop? Yes, sir. What were your thoughts about Coach Bishop? He's a great guy. Uh, I learned a lot about him. So my uh, strength and conditioning coaches down here, um, Darren Hansen and uh, Sheldon Robinson, they're both really good friends with him. So okay. I learned a lot from him about them guys. And so, so it's a small world. So you you have, you know, connections. Coach Beard, Casey Beard, and Coach Bishop knows people on. This. Okay, that's it's, yes, it's amazing how all this stuff works. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about um, competing in the Big Twelve? I like it, you know. It's a, it's a challenge, so I'm ready to take it on. So, do you see yourself more of a what is it now? A combo guard, lead guard, point guard, wing? What? Um, I like see myself as playing one, two, or three. So, just whatever, really, whatever I need to play. And what did Coach Sampson say to you? Did he say anything particular to that you that really sold you on committing to Houston? Um. It was really just the culture there. So I, they already have like a really great culture. And so I feel like that's a really good place for me to learn and, you know, grow up and grow up more and then become a better basketball player. Now, are, are you going to, are you healthy enough and been cleared to play ball this season at, at Wasatch? Um, close to it. So my doctor told me in November-ish that I'll be back. So if I just stay along the path and keep going. I should be, yes, sir. Have you, have you? I guess you know. After some an injury like that, overcome the mental aspect of it, like that you have confidence in your knee again. Uh, yes, sir. It's just really uh, talking through God through it, and then putting trust in myself. You know, going through you know PT. Everybody's telling me I can do it, and so just getting out there and doing it, it just builds confidence over time. Now you have been the you are the first commit to the Cougs class of twenty five. They're in the hunt for some other talented players. Do you have, have you, I don't know, um, recruited some of those other guys to join you in, at Houston? A little bit, a little bit. I'm getting there. We got, we got some on the table. Can't so, really, like, you, know. you know, I mean, you can, you can, well, can you mention names? I'm not going to go into, you know, getting all into your business, but you like, I've, I've read you are, you have a list of like one or two of them, right? Uh yeah, we got uh we're trying to get Kingston Flemings, mm -hmm. uh John Clark and Cole Pete. That's who I'm. That's who I'm trying to recruit now. So okay, because I know Kingston had a visit over the weekend, and I heard that mm -hmm. went well. Well, not not over last weekend. So okay, so what's what's your vibe on on uh, any of them joining you at Houston? I like it. I'm all for it, man. As soon as we 
as soon as we touch down, we we hitting the road. So, so do you think? Like, give me a percentage out of those three. You think all of them are join join you? Just one, two? What do you think? I mean, I hope all of them join it. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really got like a percentage wise, but I don't know what they what they thinking. But right now, I'm I'm feeling good about most of them. Do you do you have an idea? Have any of them told you when they do plan to announce their choice? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Just trying to get some inside scoop there from you. you know. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Appreciate that. All right. What's the plan for you for the rest of this, this school year before you come down to Houston uh, and enroll at UH? Um, really, I want to first, I want to win a national championship with my team. So like, that'd be a really good thing for the school. And then, um, you know, goes along the way, uh, trying to get an Smith player, uh, McDonald's All-American, and getting the I Allen Iverson Classic. Okay. So those are a couple goals on the way. And then when so, will you get to Houston? Um, I mean, I'll be down there. I'm pretty sure he wants me down there in May for the first part and then come back for break and then go back down. So. Now, will your schedule allow you to to pop in anytime during conference play? Um. I gotta look at that, but I think so. Okay. I'm going. I know I'm going to the uh, Texas A&M versus Houston scrimmage. Oh, here. cool. I okay. think it's twenty twenty seventh. Yeah, twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you then. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, Isaiah Harwell, man, thank you very much for taking time to uh, talk with me. Again, thank you, Dad, for for squeezing me into your busy schedule because I know you're a busy, young man. Yes, sir. But uh, is there anything final thing you want to say to the fans of the Houston Cougars? Hey, let's go, Cougs. Isaiah Harwell. Thank you, my man. You take you take care yes, of us in a few weeks. Yes, sir. We'll do.